Hello everybody, how are you doing? Uh, Throttle Chaser here. Today we have the 2023 Kia Carnival. The reason I wanted to make this video is because this is the LXS or LX seat package. Uh, everybody on YouTube and all the reviews I saw, they're only with like the higher trim levels like EX or SX. Um, but I wanted to make one for people that were in my position because this is actually my car and uh, to show them what like a base level trim means on this car uh, maybe you don't want the expensive one maybe you don't have money for it I don't know it doesn't matter I want to show you what this offers and uh, what it has what is missing and what I wish it had and uh, what has over the regular LX trim okay so first of all the difference in the front between LX, LXS and the higher model trim levels is the grille. It's going to be a different grille. And then here we don't have the fog lights. On the higher trim level we do have the fog lights. Okay. Um, another thing you can notice from the side of the car, the wheels, these are 17 inch wheels. On the higher levels they're 19 I think. And uh, it's also missing the roof rails now um, if you want to follow me the back if you want to see the difference if, if you want to know which one is a 2022 and 2023 it's all in the writing here when the right thing is like that like square ish that's the 2023 uh, if it's like a cursive writing of the carnival that's a 2022 um, as you can see we have the Nikia badge here let's go in the inside and show you the differences between the LX and LXS, which this is. Go inside, I'm gonna show you the key. This is the key, we have the lock, unlock, and the alarm button. Here you have the remote start um, and the doors. You can open them from the key or you can open them from here. You have two options. You can pull the handle or just press the button and it opens itself. Uh, it's a little slow for my taste but anyway now inside the car is a little dirty right now look I'm gonna open the other door on the other side let some from the key let some light in okay the car is a little dirty right now but so the base base model it's an LX this is an LX S for 2022 or LX seat package for 2023 the difference is that um, the, this one I have here has eight seats, seats eight people. The basic LX doesn't have the middle seat here. Of course, there's another one of seat over there, but I just took it out for easier access. Um, this is one of the main differences. Uh, now, for the front, another difference on the seat package that I have is that you have the driver's seat electronically uh, adjusted. Um, I do think you have a different uh, cover for the seat, like this fake leather or whatever it is. You also have the leather wrapped steering wheel and the leather wrapped uh, shifter. Um, as an extra, this car has the, the home link mirror that you can connect your uh, garage door and stuff like that. And uh, that's pretty much it compared to the LX. Um, now, let's talk about the things I wish this car had, and for that I'm going to start with the trunk. So, as you can see, we don't have a button for the trunk on the key, uh, because it's, the trunk is not electric, and this is the problem. It's a manual open trunk. I wish it was an electric one, like you don't have a button here to put it down. So that's one thing I wish this car had. Uh, as far as the seats goes, and how you pull them out and pull them in, it's pretty easy. You can basically do it with one hand, let me just see, or not. Okay, you pull it down, and then you just put this down. I have the headrest up now, I cannot do that, but anyway, it's pretty simple. 
a lot of kids sitting here and okay so this is one thing i wish this car had an electric belt it's very difficult to close it sometimes you hit your hand or whatever now let's go inside the driver's seat and show you the differences i forgot to mention the car is of course keyless go keyless entry keyless everything which is very good that's even for the base models the thing this car doesn't have and i wish it had compared to the higher trim levels is the automatic uh, climate control so these are basically the two things i'm missing that i wish i had automatic climate control and the electric tailgate other than that the car has basically everything you need it has adaptive uh, it, it doesn't have adaptive risk control but it has uh, lane keep assist and whatever that stuff um, it's a push stop push start stop button um, it's a brand new car and the, <laughs> the wheel sensors the pressure sensors they're malfunctioning um, I've been talking to with the Kia to replace them. It just takes them like a month to get me in. They're very packed right now. Uh, you do have a auto hold button, which is very nice. You just press the brake, ha brake harder and it's gonna hold it for you. Hold the brake for you at the red light. You do have the drive mode select. And um, right now you can see up here it's on smart. So let's see. You have normal, eco, sport and smart. So normal is pretty much normal, eco, it doesn't let you rev up the car, sport, it keeps the revs higher, and on smart, it's a combination between eco and sport, basically it adapts the driving styles. Um, very nice steering wheel, very good to the feel, very light, I really like the way this car drives and all that. Um, here you have the steering assist, you have the cruise control. Down here we have the lane keep assist, um, the doors, here would have been the tailgate but we don't have it, um, four electric windows, only the driver one is uh, automatic up and down, but I really like the, the inside of this car, like the way it looks, uh, probably looks way better in real life than on the camera, but this plastic trim here looks very good. Um, the screen, it's a, the smaller size compared to the higher trim levels, but I mean it's not a, a problem, you do have uh, Android Auto and stuff like that, I don't have a phone connected right now, but you do have like kind of what it needs, you can put your maps and whatever on it. Um, I like the layout of the dash, of course. Um, materials are pretty good like we have soft uh, I think it's kind of like a rubber and here we have a fake stitching but it's pretty soft here of course is like the plastic uh, trim this thing is plastic of course all this dash here is soft this other side is hard uh, here everything it's hard but it's pretty well made um, on the doors we have soft as well up here, soft here, soft here, and from here down it starts with hard. Um, it has pretty good uh, storage compartments, you have a storage, oh here you don't have, on the other side, on the passenger side there's a storage, um, we have storage here, a lot of storage, cup holders, cup holders in the back. Um, you have the rear AC vents right here, a lot more storage back there, it's pretty good on storage. You have the charging ports in the seats, uh, pretty pretty nice. What I couldn't find in this car, it's a 12 volt like lightning charger here for the front. Like you see I have my camera and I had to get an adapter because it only has like USB for that. Uh, you do have heated seats, uh, driver and passenger, here you can turn the parking sensors off, 
and this when you click on it it just gets you on the reverse camera of course when you start driving it's gonna disappear or you click again on it and it's gonna disappear uh, here a small dash it's a uh, you have the fuel economy and stuff like that which by the way um, this is the fuel economy since I got the car I drove it a lot 24 miles per gallon I would say it does less than that like 23 I had a lot of highway miles it's gonna do about 25 on the highway at 80 miles an hour and you know in the city like 20 uh, okay here you have like a few infotainment not infotainment like dash adjustments and stuff like that here would have been the tire pressure sensor which is not working and the tension level nothing important um, I like though that you have this small screen here and you can have the the speedo in the middle speedometer uh, fun fact look at the red line of this car it's almost 7000 rpm it revs pretty high I never really rev that high but anyway and talking about engine like the engine is a 3.5 V6 uh, natural aspirated which produces 290 horsepower uh, and it can tow up to uh, 3500 pounds Start. okay so now we're gonna check the, the rear seating I'm 6'4 and 220 pounds so I'm quite big but the access is pretty easy if you remove this seat like I did if not you can just like bump it like that um, this middle seat it's a little smaller than the other seats but consider I have here like a, a toddler car seat uh, headroom it's very good no problem you have ventilations here in the back you can adjust uh, I, I could definitely ride like this for a long time not a problem you also can slide this seat up or you can slide it back like pretty pretty much okay or you can just slide it like that and then I think from here you can lay it back that's the maximum it would go back uh, seat belt and all that okay you have some pockets here okay one big pocket and one small pocket here you can hang like a bag or whatever again you have the USB ports and this is the only 12 volt socket that I have here I have a mini fridge in the front you don't have those sockets now let's go in the back in the back again 6.4 uh, there should be like three seats here I'm not gonna say three people like me are gonna fit here but two people are easily gonna fit here uh, the middle seat is like quite small but other than that the room it's like very good um, also here if you don't have that seat you can stretch your feet um, and you can lay this on the back like that have the seat belt here okay uh, this is not made for adults like me in the back but I tell you you can fit like full-size adults uh, if I'm trying to stay straight of course I'm gonna touch but if I stay relaxed I'm just gonna touch here in the back a little because it's lowered uh, this is they don't adjust for them backward like the front ones do but uh, yeah this would be the middle seat which is like way too small again but if you have like three adults that are like I don't know skinnier than me and smaller than me they can fit here you have some pockets here you can store things you have usb chargers here same on the other side ac vents here lights pretty straightforward and the the quality of this material here is like very very nice this is what i like a lot the coming getting out of the car it's pretty easy I think the vehicles that have the entrance taller than this, but again, I'm 6'4". I don't have a problem coming here. I don't have a problem going in the back. It's really good size. You have a handle here to hold yourself and everything you want. You have also have a button here to close the door. 
Okay guys, so this is gonna be the engine bay. Uh, you don't have shocks. You have one of these that you put here to hold the hood. Um, again, it's a 3.5 liter V6 natural aspirated. It's uh, 290 horsepower, 3,500 pounds towing capacity. Only four wheel drive. Uh, not much you can see. Pretty good engine. It has 100,000 miles or 10 years warranty on the drivetrain. So that's one of the reasons I chose this car. And the other reason is the looks of this car. I really like the looks of this car. It doesn't look like a van. Uh, Kia calls it an MPV, multi-purpose vehicle. It's a, I call it a SUV van. <laughs> like an SUV and a van at the same time. Okay. Okay. okay, this is a 9-speed automatic uh, gearbox, 8-speed, 8-speed, my bad, um, and um, by the way, the MSRP on this one was, I bought it at MSRP and the MSRP was like 34, something like that, but um, after like shipping and dealer fees and stuff like that, it was 36 7 I think and then of course out the door with all the taxes and everything it was 39 5 uh, okay thank you for a drive simple gearbox you can move it to the left and you know up and down uh, we're gonna leave it on smart it has the auto hole like I said uh, the right quality is good it's a little hard if you ask me the, the shocks are a little hard but I mean you have to have the shocks hard because when you put like eight people in this car uh, you're gonna have a lot of weight and all that so I think that's fine now um, acceleration wise it does very well especially like up to like 60 70 let's say after that the engine starts to rev a little more um, but it's not bad also it's a pretty quiet ride um, the, the thing I don't like about the ride of this car is the, the tires that it came with it's like some no name all season tires which they're quite noisy like it's noisy for the road but as far as the car ride goes it's pretty quiet um, it goes pretty well I didn't slam on the throttle I was taking it quite slow uh, I can turn around and I can do like a, a small launch not 0 to 60 but a small launch to see for you to make an idea always not a sport car is not made for that but anyway I'm just gonna stop it here I'm gonna put it the auto hold and just slam the throttle three two one go a little wheel spin And it does not rev to 7,000 RPM. It's the first time I tried that. Um, but, I mean, it has good power, enough power. Everything is pretty good. I am really pleased with the car. Uh, I really like it. It's very practical. Again, the only uh, down parts of this car is the automatic climate control and the electric tailgate other than that everything is good um, thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions please uh, write in the comment uh, box below and uh, also uh, i would appreciate a like and a subscribe thank you guys have a good one